Isa, welcome to my channel. Wait, what's that word, Isa? Isa is how you say hello in Tirla. What's Tirla, you ask? Well, Tirla is what we call a con line, a constructed language. Literally, it's a language that I've been constructing over the last 20 years or so. Although sometimes it seems more like I've been discovering it. Jarda is another one of my con lines. And for the last few years, Tirlat and Jarda have been the focus of this channel. But it didn't start out that way. Some of you who've been around since the old days might remember that this channel used to be called Tirlat. That was the name of the channel. And that was originally my intention to make videos about Tirlat, the language. But something happened. I started playing Wii Music. And like many people, I was very disappointed when new music came out, and it wasn't the traditional sort of game that I was expecting. It wasn't a game like Rock Band or Guitar Hero, Mad Maestro. I was expecting, you know, a conducting game that, that had some depth to it. But there's none of that. I mean, there is five songs that you could conduct, and it was just simple rhythm. But then I started watching YouTube videos of people playing Wii Music videos, and they were doing interesting things with it. They were doing creative things. They used the, the Mii Maker to make characters that maybe looked like characters from The Legend of Zelda, for instance. And they were putting these characters into their Wii Music videos. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. Let me try that, and I will put up a few of my own Wii Music videos. And that was good for a while, but then people started doing more creative things with Wii Music. They would change the rhythms, leave notes out, add notes. They would change the instrumentation. They basically made songs that didn't sound anything like the original music. And so that's what I started doing too. And you know, so I, I might be technically playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but the actual music that I was playing didn't sound anything like the original. If you heard it, you would not recognize it as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So even though the track list of Wii Music is very limited, we ended up uh, with a small community of Wii Music enthusiasts and we shared videos. You know, we, in the old days the, the Wii could uh, transmit uh, Wii Music videos from one Wii to another and we could put our own tracks together. So one player could play one part and another player could play a different part and put together a collaboration uh, of people around the world that were playing the same game. And so it was a different way to play games. Um, and it was a, a lot more sophisticated than I gave it the game credit for when it first came out. And so uh, for about two years, uh, I spent a lot of time playing Wii music and trying to, to be creative with it and doing things that, I, that maybe even the game's designers had not anticipated and uh, you know, trying to stretch the limits of what you can do with it. Um, and then Rock Band 3 came out and uh, you know, I'm a big fan of rhythm games and I played a lot of Rock Band and one of the things about Rock Band is that it has a lot of DLC, a lot of downloaded content and I needed to figure out, well, which songs are worth buying. So I watched people's YouTube videos and you know, made the decision, oh, I like that song, I, I, I'm not sure about that song. But I made decisions about my buying habits based on watching other people's YouTube videos. And so that's what I started doing. I started uploading some of the songs that I liked and showing off the piano charts, showing off the pro bass, uh, because you know the, the pro keys and the pro bass, there were um, you know, not a lot of videos out there that were showing those off. Uh, so I tried to play them, and you know I wasn't really showing off my skills. I'm not that great. I mean, I got pretty high up on, on some of the pro keys charts, but still, mainly, you know, I was just uh, showing what these songs look like in the game, showing the charts and my attempts to play them and just for uh, helping other players of the game decide which tracks are worth buying. 
Um, so that's how I started this channel, mainly as uh, Wii music and branching off into other rhythm games. I mean, over time I played other games like this, Fantasia Music Evolve, Project Diva, and you know, Persona the Dancing, I played a track from that. Um, but then I started getting into um, producing music with Vocaloid and uh, using my conlangs, and that combination um, is something that has been a focus of a lot of my more recent videos, and I actually got into Vocaloid because of playing Project Diva. So that's a little bit about the history of this channel. What about the future? In September 2019, the Federal Trade Commission filed a complaint against Google and YouTube for alleged violations of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA. YouTube agreed to a $170 million settlement and they're changing their terms of service to require all content creators to identify whether their content is directed at children. But what does that mean? Nobody knows. And if you get it wrong, you could face a very large, substantial fine from the FTC. But it's not the end of the world. It's not even the end of YouTube. These things can be fixed. What we need is clarity. As content creators, we know when our content is not for kids. But enough of the drama. This is a serious subject, so if you're not familiar with the intricacies of this case and you want to find out more, please check out some of the links in the description. My problem is this. I have Wii Music videos on my channel. Does this count as for kids? I don't know. I mean, one of the tracks is literally Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But if you watch the video, it doesn't sound like that. So this is kind of a gray area. I don't know what someone at the FTC is going to think of this video. So I might just mark the weed music videos as for kids, but then I lose comments. You won't be able to find them. You won't be able to add them to playlists. It's bad all around. But I'll keep working on my combine videos. Might have more adult subject matter just to avoid any problems and I might go into other areas like microtonal musical notation things that are not appealing to kids so that's a little bit about the future direction of this channel finally I'd like to thank everyone who's ever watched my videos added my video to a playlist left a comment or a like even if you dislike my videos click that dislike button that's what YouTube is about and I hope it continues to be that way in the future. Until next time, booyah!